should have been able to stop it with the Yules. And yeah, maybe they feel like they're farther behind than they are. They just didn't know when to switch it up. And now it's becoming the network difference. RP on a two, that's a big one. Look at that with the empower. That's a gem. You always have that power. And yeah, that's a gem. Run back and collect Every reason time. not to do anything else. They're especially gonna with Roshan right coming up. Look at this. Oh, oh the area. Schofield. Good positioning to be able to get a good RP, but he's spotted immediately by Zayek, and he's trying to deal with that ward, but instead he's going to be stunned up for a strike in Blizzy. Nice stun into the back line. Hit Stinger as well. That's going to be two supports already dead on the side of Infamous. Whisper is fully committed to Crystallize, but there's the save from Seneco and a save on Seneco with a beautiful four staff coming out from Blizzy. Burrow strike in. He's going to be able to catch this life stealer and Infamous. They pushed it. They tried to hit a range barracks and of backing up and just hitting gold. He's actually going to be going uh, back for a Mjolnir. Top. Why, why is he going back? Oh, okay. Still going to go for him. Blizzy's going to Yule Scepter. Whisper. Whisper. Doesn't have a snowball target. He's going to be controlled up here for the RP on the two with the unstable concoction as well. Crystallize. He's going to stun himself. He's in trouble, but there's going to be the save from Sineko just in time to fall. Promise. And actually, with Gold Scepter, he may live for a while. The block hit from the Ice Shark. Oh, so the no. Scepter doesn't actually get to him while Crystallize runs down some heroes with that Radiance. But it looks like the Elder Titan's going to be left behind. He doesn't have a way to be able to get away as he's burned out of mana. Sineko just running farther and farther away from his team so they're able to get out while bottom lane is being gone on by magical with the spiders they're actually able to cut through this backdoor protection so quickly he might that is going to be the ages though they have bashes for him they do have they bashes he has his bkb they're going to be able to get that bash though he doesn't actually have the act of the abyssal blade so not going to be able to get it plus they have to go over to the other side where the tier three is already dead hector trying to deal with crystallize right now but he's just going to kite him around his magical might try and go back into that bottom lane but Crystallize first has to get away from Hector as he's going to use that Heavens Halberd. Hector has the Abyssal Blade active coming up, and he's got a Lincoln, so Blizzy has to find a way to be able to break that Lincoln and get the stun for Crystallize to get out, but he doesn't have it in time. Blitz can yeah. still be caught as well. He's got the Yule Scepter on himself. Blitz Dagger up. Cheese as well, but neither one is. He actually managed to kill Schofield. He had no buyback as well. They're doing a ton of damage to Crystallize, and it will be enough. He will pop. The regen wasn't good enough for him. He doesn't have a buyback either. Zai's going to fall as well. He does have a buyback. They have to be able to deal with Magical, though. Magical can still output the damage to slow down Infamous and keep them from finishing up this throne. It's a four versus four. There's no RP, though. This is their best opportunity. They will be all in their initiation, but he had a Neon Desk. Meanwhile, the rest of the team's just hitting out the throne. Hector says, damn it, we're not going for heroes. We're going for buildings. It's already down to half health. It's falling fast. And then can't stop and not be calling like that. Can't stop this game any longer. We can't defend the throne. Infamous. They manage. Tries to throw the daggers after him, but this Templar Assassin with the refraction. They're going for Megas right now. Thank you, and they're just going to go for the Megas. They're going to force reaction out of King Gaming. They say you have to fight right now in a three versus five, or Megas is ours. And they've already taken the top racks with the skeletons and bottom shortly to follow. 33 minutes in, they've taken Megas. Because of the X. Got a free jump on to the Kunkka, and just like that, they managed to get the Megas. And now Old Eleven, he gets executed quickly on the spot. He slowed down, paralyzed the calf bounce between the two of them, though, with the boat on top of it. Chris Luck does take a large share of this damage. He does have the Aegis, though, and he's okay with this, especially if they can kill Old Chicken Infinite after Infinite. Coming in from Whisper, finally able to finish off the PA. She buys back, but Team Gaming stuck inside their base, and Hector says, That's where I want to go. I want to go all the way into the fountain. I want to fight some more kills, but he knows he may just overstepped himself a little bit. They do have the snowball. Now they jumped outside of the fountain. Hex is really trying to fight. Quickly taking out the PA. Thanks to Whisper laying out the damage. King Gaming are forced into the fountain once again. And that's GG it. Gaming called a GG and infamous. Make it past the best of ones. Unbelievable. Up though, and Chicken already going to start this for his team. Chantress doesn't have buyback yet. And with no lasso on the board, Infamous might be a little bit more reluctant to take this fight. There's no BKBs. The Hector boat. just gonna run in. About to come back in. Look at that. Chris Luck immediately. They found the back line. What a snowball. On to Old Eleven and Kaka controlling him up the telekinesis. Toss back does help get some control, but it's not good enough. A stinger flying over them on the side. We do have. They're trying to chase away this toss as best as possible. He's oh, the melt strike. Back, but Hector, melt strike after melt strike. Chris Luck being able to bring down Dark again. Now Old Eleven. Schofield's trying to get away. Still away from that X marks the spot. But look at him now. He's taunting. He's saying, You can't finish me off, boyo. I've got the walrus quickly with the ability to jump in 
And maybe gonna look for Chris Luck here. And no, Hector, he's in the middle of him, actually breaking the Blink Dagger. They will kill off Stinger, but now, how do you deal with this big bad raking? He just turns to fight, gonna pop the blade now as well. You are already in that God Strike. He's killing them all off. Still has the ultimate afterwards. Now Schofield in the Vendetta does have the break potential if he wants to go for it, but the Hex is already out. Oh, and now the stun coming from you are. CCNC super low and Chris Luck able to TV from camp to camp. I can actually join you. Royalty. Uh, it comes down from the tower every once in a while. Schofield down on the low grounds. Who does he spot? He can break blink daggers if he so desires, or if you're infamous, they jump in. Uh, they find him. They saw him the whole time. Chris Luck pops the BKB. He's still sticking around the impale. Comes through onto two. And now the Wukong's command. They're all stuck at the trees. They did get pulled back in by Whisper. Even further inside. They do drop down the Serpent Wards, but is it going to be enough? Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. And now they caught this up, but now Hector's here. Is he going to be able to make the play? They have the false promise to keep the Monkey King alive for the moment. Still taking a ton of damage, and Hector turning on the Snake King, trying to kill him off. They will be able to run him down. One by this is going to work for them. They have the Wukong's command now. CCNC is dying. He's done. He does have buyback. Might need to use it because Yomar is dead too. He does not buy back for a minute. Oh my god, the triple kill from Hector, and now Chris Luck looking for more. They're going to force this buyback, and feeling like it's their moment. They get the RP, they find the follow-up kill on the Snaking. If they can manage to get it, does he manage to get away? Still running, he does escape. Now the stomp coming in, Chris Luck, bound the strike, trying to live, and he does. Takes down Snaking, 88 seconds dead. It's game, but he's doing everything he can to keep them up. Whisper, keeping... The hopes of Infamous alive and well in this elimination match. The sole representative from Bolivia in this tournament. Man, can you believe that this Hector guy is really good at Wraith King? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did not think and they'd be playing Wraith King. I really didn't. I thought, like, once the first phase they didn't pick it, I was like, okay, well, that seems like a pretty likely ban. You know, the guy seems all right. But I think they went to the Know Your Enemy play, right? Oh, my God. They went to this idea of, okay, we... In the meantime, though, look at Hector. He's inside the base, pops the BKB, turns on the Snake King. He can't afford to die. And now Hector in very deep. You are going to try and chase oh, the Ice Blast. It comes in, it hits him. Oh, they took him. There's no buyback. 50 seconds with no time. And Infamous ready to walk in at this point. It didn't dodge away from the Ice Blast that came through. Disarmed. Great King. He's going to be okay for the moment as the sleep comes through. Tornado lift up. He is coming back in a second. Oh, man. He's trying, MSS as well. He's finally back towards that Solar Crest now too to try and give a little bit more assistance over to UR in these team fights. And Hector continues to walk. And he's gonna walk. He's going to pop the blade mail. They have the boat afterwards. Rum buff gonna be applied to everybody. Hector will go down one time, but can you kill him again? With burn hit the splitter. Nice play as they get the force tap away, but he's axed and the BKB popped. Hector's out. You gave me down. Down, that's your three tower, but Chris Luck running away, gets the pounce out, shadow dance, and away again. They can't keep doing it to them. And look at your face. Tier three towers down. The barracks are starting to fall. Hector is here. And on the other side, they're, they're still keeping control. Up north, they're keeping an eyes on him, and Chris Luck playing with the other heroes. They've got the ice blast follow through on the snake thing. Newbie are being pulled left, right, and center. They finally force out the BKB TP from CCNC, which means he, this is going to happen afterwards. UR jumps inside. They do have Hector controlled. It was a good and fast play to get UR back, but Hector will have his ultimate available. Snaking, walking forward, looking for the Ravage. Doesn't quite get it, though. So they managed to get the X back pull onto Whisper, trying to kill off this pesky Let's Track, but he will not go down idly either as Hector gets the Shadow Blade oh walk away. God. And Whisper, he's just dancing on him as he tries to escape. Substrike coming through, still not enough for the kill. He's literally just, like, just walking away. They have the Ravage available, but Snakey, he doesn't want to pop it. They give him the tip. Oh, have mercy. Please, no. Another disarm. Snakey control. They have the Ravage. Gonna finally throw it out now. He has he just runs away. They have lost Chris. Uh, the late game, right? It's been discussed, this idea of just like, that's where they've been shining. Uh, not something you tended to say about some of the, the smaller regions before, right? Always peaked on aggression, like Hector. I mean, they're still showing that, but they've got the big macro strategy to go with it now. And they do kill Hector, but the race fire blasts are gonna fly out, and Hector gonna try and BKB and walk away afterwards. You are. They feel like they need to get something here desperately. Four staff away again in the split earth to stop the chase. 
does have that feeling like for newbie it's all slipping away even denying the tier one tower in the face of you from cc and c is they need more ways to control in this fight Chris Luck looking for the opening. They find MSS going to jump onto him at the start. Snaking, trying to find a good angle of initiation to Ravage at, but they're not hitting onto anybody. Meanwhile, MSS turned upon by Hector. They've got him controlled. Chris Luck, they tear him apart. And now the rest of them running into the side. They fly the Ice Blast as well. You are turned upon, trying to run, trying to keep you away. But the bash comes through. They find their man. Infamous running forward for more as you are just trying to get away from everybody else. But there's no buyback on Snaking. They find another bat. They are looking to take the rest too. Just everyone saving each other, looking after the others back in these fights. It's so hard for Newbie to catch them already. They're such slippery heroes. Before you add to the fact of just like, your friends are there. They have so much trust in each other. And how many times have we brought oh. that up at this tournament? And three gets left, but the one that didn't gets the four staff save on the Schofield. Chris Luck walking forward the leash. They have the halberd, but they don't have the damage. And now they have the control as another ice blast goes through. You can hear South America chanting in the background as Infamous are looking to take a top eight spot. GG call. The first time for South America to have a team in the top eight. And you can see the love though. I mean, these guys know each other even in the chat right after. It's like congratulations. Of course, much respect to their opponent. He doesn't even care right now. He's just right clicking it. Even with that spear vessel, he knows he has another life. AA blast actually to fly. Who will it hit? It hits on the two of them. Fly gonna take a lot of damage. Sumail, another miss by Chris Luck. If you're in a losing game, maybe you feel a little bit worse about that, but no, luckily man. you're up by 14k. And they get the range Drax easily. Carapace goes off. He blinks. Tries to get out. S4 gets a nice double stun. Hector will go down. Everyone gets slowed. They're gonna look for Chris Luck. He has a BKB, but he also has the Aegis. They both have two life. Oh my! Oh, they Sumail they drops so much. Chris Luck does go down. It instantly drops. Where'd the Aegis go? Chris Luck, he's gonna roll forward now. Will they find him? Scorpio taking a lot of damage. Oh, never mind. Our <laughs> oh, is taking a lot of damage. Hector, <laughs> he is leading the way to victory right now. I I'd love them in the upper bracket, honestly. Oh, and here we go. Last fight is gonna happen. Hector just pops the BKB. There's gonna be torn. It actually hits on two. There's the A blast. Hits on two as well. They're just gonna right click them all down. Arteezy is gonna try to run back to the fountain. He will make it. Can't heal up quite yet because the A. There's gonna be a stun from Schofield. Perfectly timed. Down goes Sumail. Crit X to back. He's gonna get torrent, and this is looking to be the end of the game. They're now gonna end, and there's the GG's call by Evil Geniuses. Baby. The classic by Schofield. Damn. Items on the ground. Wait, Stinger, he's picking up a couple of them. <laughs> and uh, a simply amazingly well-played game from Infamous.